What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, we got our brand new whiteboard, and I want to go over series and parallel connecting on these batteries. And also, I want to try something out to see if it works. So, if you guys are into that, let's do it. So super pumped to have our whiteboard in. Now we can actually do some stuff on it. I want to go over series and parallel connecting like I just mentioned previously. And as you can see, I have some smashed flattened copper right here. So this was a copper pipe. It was actually a copper heat pipe. We had an extra piece kicking around the shop and I have some type L copper right here. This is for water pipe in your house. Now, if anybody doesn't know, I am a plumber by trade. I've held the master's license for about 10 years at this point. Copper is something that I'm used to dealing with every day and I understand that it's very conductive. Obviously it's better than aluminum, but copper prices are super expensive right now and buying like, you know, sheets of metal would be just unrealistic. So what I tried to do was smash down some copper. Again, this is type M and I want to try to bridge two connections across the top like this basically. So now the reason I want to do that is because doing two crimp connectors and tightening the nuts down to them, it just looks a little messy in between when things are that close. And I feel like having a rigid pipe across the two batteries to make them in series 24 volts would uh, help my situation and it would be a little more sturdy and just kind of aesthetically pleasing when it's in the battery pack. So looking at this pipe, I'm worried that it's a little thin and this is where I need your guys help. I want to know if this smash down is too thin to bridge these two together if you don't think it would work for the 12 to 12 volts to make 24 volts. So now this, the reason me showing you the uh, type L is because it's a thicker walled pipe and as you can see, I've already hit it once and it is a little harder to smash down obviously from the thickness. And this one was fairly simple. I mean, obviously it was still hard, but it's just gonna be probably twice the thickness when I smash it down. So you guys let me know what you think. I think uh, in this video, I am going to put them together to see if this actually works and carries the 24 volts across. But first I wanna go and take this whiteboard and actually use it. So I wanna show you guys parallel and series connecting with these batteries in a drawing because I think it would be a little easier to understand. So I'm gonna leave the solar panels and stuff out of it. What I'm going to do is just draw a picture. So we're gonna put a square here. This is gonna be one battery. We're gonna have a, another battery here, okay? Exactly our setup right now. So this is gonna be 12 volts, obviously, and this is gonna be 12 volts. We'll put the V just for shits. Now I'm gonna put the terminals, okay? We have a positive and a negative. Same thing here, two terminals. We have a positive and a negative. Now when it comes to series connecting, you're going to tie in the negative and the positive of each battery. Now this is going to act as like a multiplier. So it's going to carry the 12 volts from this battery, throw it into this battery, and it is going to export 24 volts out of the positive terminal up to your charge controller. Now your charge controller, the all-in-one, like I have the grow watt, is then gonna send the negative back and that's it, you have a 24 volt system. But you obviously need a uh, fuse in here and all that stuff, but we'll get into that in another video if you guys want me to actually get into this a little more in depth. Parallel batteries, I'm gonna move the camera over just a little bit. All right, so we have another battery here and here, okay? So now there's two on top of each other. Again, they're both 12 volts. We're gonna have the two terminals, positive, negative, two terminals, positive, negative. And we're going to basically tie these together this way, all right? And now, because you have the positive feeding up to the positive, all it's doing is carrying the load across the terminal. It is not adding it into this battery because it's not being forced in the receiving side, if that makes sense. Think of it as a, you know, a continuous circle. So it's going to come out the positive, go back into the negative when you're charging a battery. 
Now, again, it's not getting thrown into the battery. It's just going across the battery. So that is going to then, in theory, keep it 12 volts coming out. And then, you know, up to your inverter and same thing up to your inverter with a fuse. But you guys can kind of get what I'm saying from this, correct? So this is parallel right here when you're carrying the load and series connecting is when you're forcing the load into another battery. So we can get into this again a little bit more in depth when we're actually doing it in person and I can kind of draw out my system. But now what I'm thinking, this little bridge, that's what we're gonna complete right here with this copper, drilling two holes in it, tightening down to the top. And I think it'll just look a lot neater to be honest when they're all sideways laying in like the battery pack style. So let me take this right now. I'm gonna sand it down because obviously you wanna have it as clean as possible. Again, it was clean pipe, so brand new in the middle. So the middle I wasn't too concerned with. Just gonna sand this down. We're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna throw this thing on. Let's do it. All right, so first I'm gonna sand this up just a bit. All right, note to self, clean this thing up before you smash it flat because all the hammer dents are a pain in the ass to sand down. So I'm probably gonna recut this one again and do it later, but I just want to uh, test it for this video. So we're gonna take my drill bits. Now, for those of you that don't know, if you're not very mechanically inclined, these brass drill bits are for wood. These aren't for metal. So these ones I can't use. I have steel ones here that are amazing. I'm gonna use this guy right here, 5 16 because it should do well with this bolt, as you can see. Now, what we're going to do is about an inch in, I'm gonna drill a hole. Okay, so we got one hole, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side but first we need to measure the distance between the batteries. All right, so we're gonna be doing these in series, just like that diagram. So we're gonna take them both, put them next to each other, gonna get the positive and negative terminals as close as they can be. Now I'm gonna take the copper right here. We're gonna throw that on top. Now these have protective caps on them. Not like it matters if I touch it anyways with the uh, copper, but I'm just gonna put it directly over the center there and what I'm going to do is put a dot right where the center of this one's gonna be, like so. And now what we're gonna do is cut it like an inch past this, same thing. All right, so I saved you the pain. There's the second hole. And now we're gonna lop it off right there. There it is. All right, let's just double check, make sure that the bolts go through the holes, which they do. All right, cool. Now, what we can do is I wanna test these batteries. So I wanna check this one first, we'll check this one second, and then we will check them together with the bridge in the middle and just see if it actually does the 24 volts. All right, so here we are, ready to test DC voltage. That is the line with the three dots and you hit the select button to uh, change that. Now, I don't know, you guys can kinda see, I think. We're gonna go positive and negative and we're at 13. 0.19. Usually it's right around 13.2. That's what the other ones were at. So now let me check the furthest one. Same thing, 13.19. So now the fun part is to see if this actually works with the bridge getting to 24 volts. Because if this does work, I'm going to be excited. And obviously, I'm going to have to make sure that I don't let anything hit this bar and it doesn't get too hot because that's obviously a concern. So bolt this one here. So the other, this one's negative on the left and the one on the right is the positive. As you can see, the stickers, red and green. All right, let's grab a ratchet, 13 millimeter. Let's tighten these guys up. I love these little husky ratcheting wrenches. They're actually amazing working on cars and stuff, getting in uh, small spots. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Okay, now they're tight. And for me, this, it's a lot more sturdy. I can actually wiggle this thing around on my desk together. So that's, uh, it just makes me feel better about the whole situation. Those two crimped fittings were just terrible. So I don't know if I might have to stack two of these together here or 
just do it and uh, type L. You guys can let me know if you guys do know in the comments. But now it's time to test the voltage of both. All right, let's see. We have negative and positive. Look at that, 26.39. Amazing, that's exactly what we wanted. So the bridge is working successfully. Again, the only thing that could go wrong is this thing could get a little hot because it really can't carry that much power. But I mean, 12 volts is relatively small. I think this will be okay. The only thing I wouldn't do here with the Type M or at least one piece of it is do it in parallel to a bunch of these setups because then it's just, I don't know, it's only 24 volts still, but you know what I'm saying, it's not really, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem ideal, it just seems a little thin, so I'll probably end up smashing the Type L in trying the parallel connections because obviously you guys know I'm gonna have six of these stacked for anybody that's been following the channel inside the crypto mining trailer. We already have two of these and two Battleborns, but I'm gonna have six of these batteries. I'm getting two more on Monday, so I'm excited about that, but I'm pumped that that works. Hopefully you guys understood this, the uh, series in parallel. Please let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below. But um, yeah, guys, until next time, I appreciate you all for watching and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace out.